The Russian soul. What is it? Do we really know anything about the Russians? What are they like? There's no better way to get to know the real Russians than to ask them questions face to face. There are five people in the studio, four foreigners and one Russian. The foreigners put away their bias, prejudice, and stereotypes in order to understand the whole depth of the Russian soul by asking questions that all of us always wanted to know. Did you get the feeling he didn't like his job? I got that. It was like... <laughs> Is that he, he wished he never picked the career. Uh, <laughs> I think it has to do with the medical system to as be honest, a whole. To be honest, I know a lot of doctors who say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah? No, I think yeah. he likes his job. I think no. it's just the, the system. It's the system. It's the system it's that the you system. think he's doing it. Okay. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I know you it's know. It's very difficult. <laughs> 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 to me, it's like a lot of pressure on yourself to constantly yeah. have to improve, to constantly have to grow, and to constantly have to have some kind of progress. And potentially it could be from, you know, Soviet times of having like these quotas that had to be met, be all in the name of progress. Progress has to be made. And it was interesting how that came up directly after he said that all progress is uh, a positive thing, right? Sometimes yeah. progress yeah. is going, yeah, it, but I think stand, what it is... We stand in time, which is only a point in our understanding. And whatever we understand now will be changed tomorrow. Yeah, which was interesting, which was in his, when we talked about the single sex marriages, yeah. again, he came back with a sort of, a, do you mean a, a, a relationship or do you mean a, a, what do you call it, a system for bringing up children? Uh, yeah, yeah. And it was that when the child, the child can't choose their parents. No, the child can't choose their parents. Yeah. You can and choose then, your friends. Yeah, but that was very interesting. Because he, he, I mean, he had, he, he, towards the end, well, we didn't really talk much about his parents. But at the end, he's, he did mention he had a difficult relationship with them. And I'm very happy I didn't ask the question. <laughs> there was one question which I had, a, which is this one, Stor van Niederdali van I thought, my goodness, it's a bit like I didn't say oh that. God. But maybe I should have, because we did want the guy to get up and hit me, didn't we? That was, yeah. that's uh, the plan. Yes, that yeah. that was the plan. Time. That would have got me hit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I actually do think there was quite a good description of the Ruskai Dusha yeah. at the end. Yeah. Well done, that was your question. Yes, yeah. you worked on that one. Yeah. <laughs> but I get 25% I get of the credit because I brought you here. So yeah. it's like <laughs> <laughs>
I'm Mike Gibson. I'm from London, but I left London a long time ago. I've been living here in Moscow for over half my life. And I work in advertising. The most common question is, everyone is leaving this city and you came here. What for? What have you left behind here? It is not a dumb question, really. I understand why people ask this question. Such beautiful things happen in everyday life here. Yes, there are a lot of problems, but there are also a lot of problems in America. Russian is the norm for me. <laughs> the English have already become a bit of strangers for me. I mean, I feel that the English are colder than the Russians. The Russians are warmer. They're slightly more passionate about life. That is, they love music more, they love their literature more. I love my life now. Russia is not such a terrible country as it is written in all the history books for school. How do you feel about criticism? Well, I think that criticism is a tool for self-development. If a person is completely convinced that they can do everything, that they are a super specialist and that they are perfect, this is self-deception. Is there something you do not like about yourself? Sometimes I get annoyed with myself because I can make a decision, but then I think about it too much. I'm annoyed that I focus too much on a certain step, but it helps me in my work. It's annoying only for the rest of my life. You mentioned the development in different areas of your life. As for the work, I think it became clear. In which other spheres of life do you try to develop? It might sound weird, but I feel that I'm interested in almost everything. Culture, painting, sculpture. I'm interested in it here and, and now in terms of my personal development. What is friendship? And can you be a good friend? How do you do it? Friendship seems very important to me. Sometimes it is even more important than love or family. I think friendship is when you communicate with a person and you are ready to turn a blind eye to some of their negative traits. You understand that you can always call them and ask for something that you cannot ask anyone else. You value their opinion. That's what friendship is all about. You still know that this is your friend. Yes, they have disadvantages, but you realize that the pros are much more important. How, how can you recognize a friend? You will just see that the person does something for you for no reason. You might have few friends, but they would be real. A reliable friend is a true friend. It's more about live processes in daily life. Here, life feels as if clearer and sometimes more painful than in America, but also more joyful. In America, there's more of a kind of sterility and distance from your own life. Here, you have all at once. People are very sensitive. They answer you honestly. Here, spontaneity and intuition play a big role in social life. I think there is a connection between Russia and Ireland too. I mean, we both like to drink. The only difference is that we have whiskey and you just have vodka, for example. But we also have our own version of moonshine in Ireland. This is called pachin. And it is made of potatoes. You know, I've noticed that people here are willing to do anything for their friends. In England, the relationships between people are slightly colder, I think. 
with Russian people, the first words are beauty, hospitality, and openness. I'd like to ask, what is your dream woman? <laughs> if I may ask. The one that will see me precisely as a human being. People do not appreciate each other for some simple qualities in communication. Again, if talking about reliability, it's like a close friend, right? A philosopher once said that love is friendship with a person who attracts you with their beauty. She must understand me, and I must understand her. We should have common views, and she should appreciate some of my inner qualities. Compatibility. People need to be compatible in everything, in everyday life, in character, in sex, in common goals, and most of all, in common values. Is it difficult to define love in Russia? And let me think for a second. How do you understand this word? What does the word love mean? This person fills your entire head completely, all the time. Now, I think, especially in Moscow, there is a great social pressure to have progress in life. But progress is also pressure, and it also affects you both in a bad way and in a good way. There is such an expression, a negative experience is still an experience. Progress cannot be bad. Can't be bad? In any case, knowledge. Well, this is my opinion. There cannot be too much knowledge. Any experience is progress. Any knowledge is still progress. It's a movement forward in any field. There is such a test for foreigners called the Mumu test. What's the Mumu test? Do you know the book Mumu? At the last moment, when Gerasim must kill, drown, well, yes, to drown his favorite dog. And when I came to Russia, I just failed to understand it at all. I said, why? Why? He should have just run, and everything would have been okay. Why did he do that? And all foreigners, they think so. Now, I think that, I see, I get it. And I think that for a Russian person, this is also understandable. This is the moment for them, it, it's deeper. And sometimes it's clear, but not clear. It's an amazing feeling of home for me in Russia, because I do not have any such feeling at all. I'm from America. I realize that this land was, was stolen, that it was not European land. They came, stole, created this whole country, built all these cities. I was born there in some random way. For this reason, I have no connection with America as a land. If there was an opportunity to change your past, what would you change? In the profession? In any field, sports, life, Maybe I would have chosen a different profession. Yeah. Well, there's a chance that I would not choose surgery. Fortunately, I did not have any big losses or disappointments in some people. Yes. I can't say like in some movies, if I knew I would have devoted more time to something. I cannot even tell you now. What if you were giving advice? <laughs> Good question. I've been following this path for a long time. Do what you like, and everything will be fine, and you will be successful. And now I've come to the conclusion that this does not work for us. I would probably, well, at least in professional terms, I would be engaged in what is in the mainstream, what is relevant, what is developing, what is in the flow. 
In this regard, I would have given myself this advice in the past. And in other areas of life, I probably would not change anything. Here's another example. I think that the Irish soul is an opportunity to find something happy in every situation. When you have nothing and you're sitting on the street, for example. I think that Russian soul is something well known, because many writers in Russia wanted to describe how Russian people are different from all other countries. And, for instance, it is often described as being able to endure suffering. Yes, we have a lot of patience, that is for sure. I think that the soul is that we are very kind, in fact, absolutely apolitical. We are happy to be with different people. It does not matter whether they are foreigners or not foreigners. Every foreigner in our country can become one of ours, but not right away. This is a broader notion. I think no writer has described it yet. Okay, thank you very much. It was very interesting. Thank you. Thank you.